Hi everybody. Uh, so we're back. I finally got some new padlocks in the workshop. Uh, this is the Kryptonite KS13. Uh, it's made by Schlage now, uh, where Kryptonite apparently is just one of their brands. And it's using a classic Schlage C keyway. Uh, these, when I get them from the store, are pinned up for the 5-pin SC1 keys. And as you might be able to see there, the bidding on these is pretty nasty. You've got a couple of maximum length pins uh, hiding some fairly high pins. Some of the others are even worse. There's another one from that set. You can see there's some very deep pins and then some very shallow pins. So uh, we're going to see if we can get into this guy. I'm going to use my standard, uh, my full thickness Peterson pry bar and a standard Peterson short hook. And so we're just going to get that seated up there. It's a little springy. The spring on the cam on these uh, is similar to the American lock, and it's very, very uh, strong. So we have to fight that a bit when we do finally get it open. And this guy tends to like start binding near the back. Now these cores are set up so that you can pin them for six pins. So there's a little bit of an empty space that you have to be careful about. You don't want to go and stick your pick in too far and be working the pins with the shaft. And so that was number five, I think. And now it's probably number one. Let's see, did we get, I think this is number three. Actually set number three feels like it, but I'm not getting anything else binding now. Let's ease off a little bit and let's see. Okay, that's number. Oh, and there we go. <laughs> okay, so we've got this guy open. And let's take a look at what's actually inside these things. Uh, here's another one uh, that I already have able to open it pretty easily, just like an American lock. Just stick a Phillips head screwdriver down in the shackle hole and the core drops right out. And so now, if you can see in there, there's a little... Let's get that guy out. There we go. So now you can see the cam and the retaining screw hiding up in there. There's the cam. You can see it's very similar to the American lock, though a little bit different, uh, but not by much. And the core itself is a standard key and knob core with this little uh, retaining bracket that fits over the Bible and a tailpiece that fits inside the uh, retaining nut on the back. And that has this little blocking plate sits on the back. It says up on it. Um, and if I remember correctly, it fits on something like that when you drop it into the uh, hole. And so when you turn the lock, that uh, tailpiece moves over and activates the cam. Again, very much like the American lock, but this one, as you can see, completely fills uh, the back of the keyway, so there's no easy bypass there. Uh, and I've spoken to a few people who have worked on these in the field as locksmiths, and they tell me that their preference, uh, if they come across one of these, is just clip this shackle, because that really is the weak point on these guys. It's a very thin shackle, uh, not sure exactly of the diameter, but pretty thin compared to what you'd get on a really serious high security padlock. So, uh, I'm probably going to take these and turn them into some sort of progressive set or maybe I'll start sticking some of my high security Schlage cores like one of my Everest's in there as a little bit of a joke for people. So, 
Until next time, uh, have fun, happy picking, and stay safe.